Hi, this is Carissa Caramanis O'Brien coming to you from EMS World Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're in the Medtronic Foundation Heart Rescue Project podcast studio, and I'm with Dr. Greg Mears, EMS Medical Director for the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Welcome, Dr. Mears. Good morning. So, can you tell me a little bit about the Heart Rescue Project? Uh, I think we're living in some exciting times in medicine right now, especially when we look at conditions that historically have had very poor survivals. And the Medtronic Heart Rescue Project is a collaboration between the Medtronic Foundation and five states and several universities, lots of bright people that have been pulled together to try to improve the outcome of a disease or a, a process that historically has had very abysmal survival. Uh, cardiac arrest, uh, there's almost 300,000 of them a year in the United States. Uh, less than 10% of the victims of cardiac arrest uh, survive. In fact, it's been called historically sudden cardiac death because once your heart stopped and you experienced it, there was little chance that you could be you know, revived. So this project is very interesting because it focuses on communities. It focuses on some science and how we can you know, do better CPR and treat patients more effectively. And it focuses on systems of care where we can not only resuscitate patients at a higher rate, but also make sure we get them to the appropriate location for care after they have been resuscitated. Uh, and there's been some breakthroughs in science to help improve the, uh, the outcome of patients as a result. And what really has been your involvement in, as far as you and the university? Well, North Carolina is, as a state has been very progressive with data systems. And I've spent a good part of the last 20 years building standardized data systems so that we can analyze how we provide care within the EMS. And then we're starting to be able to take that and identify best practices, identify areas where we know that if we can focus and standardize and do things uh, appropriately, then it shows in the outcomes of the patients. So my role is to help to um, bring these data systems together uh, to help work with the EMS agencies out in the communities and then along with uh, uh, Wake County EMS uh, they are providing uh, Dr. Brent Myers is working to provide some educational materials for EMS along with Duke um, there's been a long standing uh, program working with cardiac or, or excuse me heart attack victims STEMI victims and we're layering on some advanced hospital care on top of that program so that together we have a seamless system. And our goal as the Heart Rescue Project is to double the survival of cardiac arrest victims over the next five years. A lofty goal, but certainly one that can be achieved. And I think that's an important point that you mentioned. I think historically, one of the core challenges for sudden cardiac arrest is just not having the data that we really critically need. So I think that's a, a really important part of the project. Um, speaking of importance, how crucial is EMS's role in general in this project? Well, these patients typically experience, um, or cardiac arrest typically occurs in the home or in the neighborhood of the, the victim. And so that means there has to be a healthcare response. Excuse me. <clears throat> And so EMS is, is typically responding to those from a 911 type activation. Um, the first few minutes, in fact, minutes count for every minute that a heart has stopped, uh, the survival of that patient drops about 10%. So if you do the math, that means in about 10 minutes, the survival is really low. Um, so EMS getting there very quickly, being able to be very uh, aggressive and providing treatment, which is CPR, defibrillation, and at times some medications, uh, makes the difference, along with trying to engage the community to be very involved, to, e to be able to recognize the cardiac arrest event very early on, activate 911, and begin CPR. So the community is an impart important part of this process as well. Where can folks sort of follow along and be a part of the project? This project has put together a lot of materials, including some guides that can be used by communities and those that are interested in getting involved. If you go to heartrescueproject.com, heart uh, you can find all of these materials there. There's also ways that you can interact with the website and um, learn a, a great deal about how to participate. So we encourage everyone to go to the website and, and dive in. Fantastic. Well, thank you again. Appreciate your being here, Dr. Mears. And again, I'm Carissa Caramanis O'Brien coming to you from EMS World Expo in Las Vegas from the Medtronic Foundation Heart Rescue Project podcast studio.